Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I'm going to be starting a series on loadouts, specifically HVZ squad loadouts, ones that I think will work very well for certain squad tactics and, and various roles that uh, hopefully the Auxiliary will be utilizing in the upcoming event season next year. Now these, these are not meant to be definitive, it's not if you're not doing this you're wrong, or if you're doing something else you're wrong, or these are the only ones that will be required, or, or whatever. They're just suggestions on loadouts that I have used or that I have seen used that work very, very well, and that I think will work well in the sorts of squads that we're going to be running, because we are going to be running a number of fairly diverse, and yet in and of themselves specific squads. So there'll be squads for very particular roles and, and ideas in, involved, and I think that these kinds of loadouts will work, will help get those organized so that you have the sorts of tools that you're going to need for some of these big events because it's going to get complicated, I think, pretty quick. So uh, I'm going to start with a silly loadout because I, I like silly loadouts and um, this one I recently uh, improved. Uh, because of Black Friday, a lot of the parts that were necessary were on sale and so I was able to get it for a reasonable price. And so I have upgraded a previous silly loadout and I wanted to show off the upgrades and I want to make clear, this is a silly loadout. This is not a serious loadout, this is not a particularly practical loadout, except in a very niche area. Um, so don't go tippity typing away about how it's not practical and how I'd be better off doing something else. I am aware this is satire. If you don't know what that word means, Google it. I am of course talking about my hammer shot loadout, which is absolutely absurd and silly and has been taken to a new level of absurd and silly. The previous loadout uh, used these 3D printed holsters that were designed by me, or designed for me, by RE Armory. And then I spent like three spools of filament printing a whole bunch of them out for this loadout. And then I saw somebody do something at an event that I have been doing since the hammer shot came out. And yet somehow when I went to build this loadout, it didn't occur to me to do that. And I felt very, very silly. And that is putting a hammer shot into a Condor AAK mag holder, mag pouch. I've had those on my loadout in my vest since I've created my loadout. And since the hammer shot came out, I've kept one in one of those pouches. And yet, somehow, it didn't occur to me. And I went to the trouble to have a German engineer design me a holster when I could have just bought a bunch of these. Now, these have one very distinct advantage over these which is, it's easy to reholster into one of these. Um, it is very easy to pull it out, put it back in, they stay in. They're very, very nice, but these are time consuming, heavy, and take up a lot more room on the, on the belt. Whereas I can get a lot more of these pouches on here than I can these. So in the previous loadout, I believe I, I had six of them going around the waist, one on each side of the small of my back, and then two on my left leg. I didn't have any on the right leg because this loadout was intended to be used with a tower shield. Because in our group, uh, you're only allowed to use uh, pistols, Springer pistols specifically, when you're using a large shield. I think we do now allow barricades because they're fairly limited, but in general the rule is non-magazine fed Springer pistols. So Revolvers is really what it's meant to, because otherwise it gets way overpowered to have a shield and, you know, other stuff. So that's our rule. So the problem I ran into is I kept running out of ammo in my hammer shots, and it's somewhat difficult to reload a hammer shot while carrying a tower shield. So I wanted to be able to carry more hammer shots and just drop them or reholster them and move on to a different one, rather than trying to reload and, and all of that nonsense. So I decided to, of course, you know, being me, take it to an absurd level. And my previous loadout had 10 hammer shots. This loadout holds 18, plus two double strikes in the shoulder rig, um, and is silly. Let's take a look at it. Aha! Pretty fetching, don't you think? Cunning. Ridiculous. But of course, it's supposed to be used with a shield. Aha! There we go. The fact that this makes me distinctly wider than the shield, not that I'm not already wider than my shield, uh, <laughs> is sort of a problem because uh, equipment tags count. Silly, silly loadout, but fun. I do then have my, uh, my hammer shot carbine as the primary to go with this, just because, again, it's a hammer shot, it fits, it's silly. And you will notice the uh, 
ankle mounted micro hammer shot that because of the leg holsters and all of this, I can't actually reach it very well. <laughs> Aha! Extremely practical. Nothing but the most practical loadouts for me. All right, now for the part I'm sure you're all hoping for, a complete loadout dump. Click that! Aha! to mention it includes a pair of swords. Well, there it is. The mountain that this holds. Turns out I actually can draw the ankle holster once it's all empty because it's all squishy. Not that I bend over well anyway. Right. So, silly loadouts. I highly encourage silly loadouts. That's one of the things that I, I don't want anyone to feel that they have to try to be as absolutely tactical and, and fully perfect for the auxiliary. You are absolutely welcome to run the most ridiculous loadouts you feel like. I mean, obviously, I recruited Brett into the crew, and he ran a maverick at End War and was one of the last surviving humans. So silliness is highly encouraged. Um, obviously, one thing that I'm sure, once again, tippity typing, people are going to point out, these are mag pouches, and they fit Nerf mags. So other than the two ones on the lower back, which are still the RE Armory holsters, because I can put them at a 45 degree angle, which makes them drawing from the back easier, I can replace any number of hammer shots with a pair of magazines, which would mean I could carry, what, 32 magazines? That's a lot of magazines. I don't have that many 22s. I have that many 18s. So you could obviously use this same loadout for a heavy gunner loadout if you were running like a rapid strike or a, a hyperfire build that was an insane rate of fire where pretty much every time you pull the trigger you dump 18 rounds, this would actually then make that a little bit more practical because you would have the ammunition to be able to do that. Or as a squad support role, you could run a semi-automatic blaster and carry this much ammunition and have ammunition to give to other people. So, either way, this was fun. Having all the pouches, um, is just neat and silly. When, when it's not full of hammer shots, it's not all that heavy. When it's full of hammer shots, it's kind of heavy. And that was kind of why I wanted to get rid of the, the RE Armory holsters, is they're kind of heavy. So this made for a very fun and silly loadout. I don't know what I will use it for. I will definitely run it with the shield at wars for things like Titan Ball, where having shields is very valuable when you're running with the Titan. So we'll see how that works out. Anyway, this was fun. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy the silliness. There's going to be more silliness. I'm really a very silly person. I don't know why people think I take myself seriously. Thank you for watching.